हेलो फ्रेंड्स सत्येंद्र हेयर एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स डिजाइन द बॉडी ऑफ सिलेंडर रिलीव वॉल्व इन क्रियो पैरामेट्रिक सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो दिस इज द पार्ट एंड इफ यू सी द सेक्शन व्यू इट लुक्स लाइक दिस and if you see the drawing it looks like this so this drawing looks very simple but this is not this is a bit complicated so you must have the knowledge of surfacing to do this part so if you have the idea of boundary blend then only you can do this part otherwise it will be difficult so let's do this part and understand the surfacing but before i start i will request all of you to please subscribe my channel first this is very much needed and this will be a big help you can even become my channel member to support my channel now let's start the part and for this first you go to new part solid assign the name and check is default template and say okay now from here you select the proper part template so i'll go with this template this is a metric template and i'll say okay now here i will start this part with this mid portion so i'll start the part with a simple sketch so i'll go to the sketch on to the front datum plane sketch normal switch of all the datums now first you add two center lines one here another one here then draw the first entity just like this let it be symmetry now this is dia 54 this value so make it 54 and this height is 57 minus 25 so make it 57 minus 25 now you draw one more line starting from here come this side then go like this then one more line like this now go to symmetry and make this point and this point symmetry with this add the dimension so this gap is dia 40 this value now add the fillet here and here this is radius 10 and this is radius 38 now draw one more line from here till here then go for delete segment and delete this segment and this segment make this dimension strong and then go for symmetry and make this point and this point symmetry with this now go to vertical constraint and make this point in line with this and the sketch is done now make this line construction and this line also construction and say okay so the first sketch is done now based on this sketch i will create a couple of sketch section so first you switch on all the datums and then create a datum plane select this point hold the control key and select this datum plane say okay now go for sketch reference switch off all the datums then select this point and this point now draw three point circle first point second point and then third point now if you go to dimension and place this dimension this is dia 54 so this sketch is done now just say okay similarly one more sketch at this end so once again switch on all the datums and then create a new datum plane 
Select this point, hold the control key and select this datum plane. Say OK. Now you go for sketch, switch off all the datums, then go for reference, select this point and this point as a reference. Now draw three point circle, first point, second point and then third point. Now if you go for this dimension, this will be dia 40. Now just say OK. Now similarly, I need one more section which is passing through this. So for that, first you need to modify the first sketch. So go inside this sketch, make it normal and then you place a datum point somewhere here and say OK. So now if you switch on your datums, you have a datum point here. Now select this datum point and go for center axis. So using this datum point, I will create a center axis. Now you hold the control key and select the front datum plane. And you got a center axis here, say OK. Now using this center axis, I will create one more datum plane. Now once again hold the control key and select this datum plane. Now this angle, you make it 47 and say OK. Now once this is done, you need to create two datum points. So go to the datum point, select this datum plane, hold the control key and then select this curve. So now you got one intersection point. Similarly, one more point this side, so select this datum plane, hold the control key and select this curve. Now say OK. So these datum points are needed to connect the sketch section with these curves. So this all comes under surface techniques. Now go for sketch, select this datum plane, sketch normal. Now go for reference and select this datum point and this datum point. Now you switch off all the datums and delete this reference, normal. First you go for reference, select these datum planes, close it and then you go for three point circle. First point, second point and then third point. Now if you go for dimension and check the dimension, you are getting radius 27.06 which is very close to radius 27. Now just say OK. So now you have three sections here and two path and when you have multiple sections with multiple path, you can only go with boundary blend. So now let us create the boundary blend surface. So go to boundary blend, select this curve, hold the control key and select this curve. So this is first direction, then click on second direction and then select this section, hold the control key, then select this section. Once again hold the control key and select this section. Now here I am getting two curves. So I will make it single curve and for this go to control points, select this point, select this point and then you select this point. So now this became single curve, now just say ok. So you see you have one curve here. Now once you have created this surface, once again modify this surface. Now you need to apply the end condition. So go to this yellow dot, right click and make it normal. Same way this side, select this normal and say OK. So once this is done, close these ends 
so for this select sketch 2 and go for fill surface similarly go for sketch 3 and go for fill surface so this end is also closed now you select this boundary blend and go for offset outside now the thickness is 6 so make it 6 and say ok so now you have these kind of surfaces created outside and inside now i'll use these surfaces to add the material and to remove the material now let's create the next feature which is this one and this is a revolve feature so i'll go to revolve onto the front atom plane normal now here you go for reference select this end reference now draw a center line from here till here then add a datum center line somewhere here now draw the rough sketch so start with line start from here go like this then go up then this side again up then go this side then up this side close the sketch now the dimension so this is 65.71 this is dia 88 this is 16 this is 6 and then this total gap is 25 so the sketch is done now just say okay and okay similarly this side so one second go for revolve under the front datum plane normal go for reference select this point as a reference and this point as a reference now draw a datum center line somewhere here and then a sketch center line somewhere here now draw the rough sketch so start from here go like this come down like this go like this this and close the sketch now the dimension so from here till here i need this dimension and then i need this dimension this is 12 and this is 70 and then this dia this is 135 now just say okay and ok so now this surface is blocked with this solid and this solid so you can simply select this offset surface and go for solidify and this surface will get converted into solid so go with the first option fill with solid and say ok and it got converted into solid now the next feature which is this one and this one so for this i will go to revolve onto the front datum plane normal draw datum center line first somewhere here then draw the rough sketch so start with line start from here go like this like this then this 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 and close the sketch add the dimension so make this angle as 90 degree then this is 6 then this is 46 this is 40 and this is 70 say ok and ok One more time revolve onto the front datum plane, normal, 
draw datum center line somewhere here draw the rough sketch starting from here go like this come down like this like this like this close the sketch delete this equal constraint add the dimension so add this angle as a 90 degree now now this is 50 this is 44 this is 6 and this is 64 now just say okay and okay so all add material features are done now i'll go with remove material feature but first i will create a section view so i'll go to section i'll select the front datum plane i will make it section a and i'll say okay so now i have an inner surface I will use that surface to remove this material. So first you select this boundary blend, hold the control key and then select fill 1. Go for merge and say ok. Then select merge 1, hold the control key and select fill 2. Once again go for merge and say ok. So now these three surfaces got converted into one surface. Select Merge 2 and go for Solidify. Now here I will use this surface to remove the material. So I will go for Remove Material. I will say OK. Now you see, the inner material got removed. Now I will go for Extrude. I will select this face. I will go for Reference. I will select this inner edge as a reference. Draw a circle. Just like this, say OK, flip the direction, remove material to next, say OK. Same with this side, so go for extrude, select this face, draw the circle. Now this die is die 48, say OK. make it to next say ok now remove this material and this material so for this i will go to hole i'll select this face i will switch on the center axis i will hold the control key and select this axis. Now here I will go for sketch hole. So go to sketcher. Now here first you add a vertical center line. Just like this. Make it axis of revolution. Now draw the sketch. So draw the first entity just like this. Now this is dia 24.117, so make it 24.117, then draw the rough sketch, so come like this, go like this, then this, this and this. Now the dimension, so from here till here this is 70. Then this one is 25, you see here this is a 25 and this gap is 70. Now this is dia 16, so make it 16 and say ok. And you are getting the hole, just say ok. Now the similar hole you have this side, so select this feature. Control C to copy the feature and then Control V to paste the feature. Now select this face, 
hold the control key and select this axis. Say OK. Now just go inside this hole, go to sketcher and modify the dimension as per the new hole. So this is 30.291. This is dia 20, this gap is 64, this is 28 and say ok and ok. Now one more hole is coming here and for this go to hole, select this face. Now this is diameter position, PCD is 100, so go to placement, make a diameter, switch on the center axis and datum plane. Drag one handle to this center axis. Now this is 100, then drag this handle to this datum plane. Now this angle you make it 45 degree because there are 4 holes. Now the dia of hole is 12.5, so make it 12.5, depth you make it 2 next, say ok. Go for pattern. Axis pattern, select this axis, let it be 4, 360 degree and say ok. Now the next feature is the chamfer. So go to the chamfer, select this edge, this is, this gap is 3 here with 90 degree that means go with 45 to D and D you make it 3 and say ok. Same with chamfer, this edge, this you just make 2 and say ok. Then the next feature is round, so go to round, select this edge this is 6, then hold the control key, select this edge, this one and this one, let's say ok. Now you go for one more round, select this edge, make it 4 and say ok. Similarly, you have a round inside, so go with round, select this inner edge, let it be radius 4, say ok. And this part is done. Now you can add cosmetic threads to these areas if you want. You can simply go to engineering, cosmetic thread, select this face, starting face and the length. So here you can go with two selected and select this face and say ok. Same way one more time you can go with cosmetic thread, select this face, starting face and the depth to selected till this surface, say ok. And this complete this part. So that's it from this video. 
So this was cylinder lip valve in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.